Well, congratulations. That was quick. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so happy. I cannot, I cannot explain how. Well, obviously, I was dancing the whole time. But, man, like, this is, this is what I do every single day. You know, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at the gym uh, 10 hours a day, um, six, six days a week. And then on my seventh, my day off, I do a run. Do you get what I mean? And to be able to perform like that against a, a really legit guy who's also a bit of a giant, man, I'm so happy. <laughs> I am so happy. Did that go kind of the way that you would expect it? Did you think you'd get in and out of there that quick or did you expect to have to go three rounds with him? Uh, no, I thought I'd finish him in the first. I thought, I thought, to be fair, he's a tough guy. So I thought worst case, early second, but I knew, I knew I would, I would finish it quite, uh, quite early. Um, you know, I punch really hard and I've got pretty decent ground game. Um, so whatever the fight went, I would have finished it. So, um, yeah, no, I expected that. How much of the delay uh, of the whole card affected you backstage? Mm, didn't really. I'm always ready, you know, whenever. So, yeah, it didn't really. Nah, it, obviously it's annoying, but it was great. It worked out perfectly. You know, there was, was, there was a crowd there that I really, I really liked, and they liked my performance. I, the walkout was great. Yeah, man, <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> What was the best piece of advice that you got this camp that you were able to implement into this fight? <laughs> I'm not going to say uh, anything silly. Um, nothing, listen, man, my, my, my team and my coaches at London Shoot, um, you know, they make me a better man every single day. And, and whatever they tell me, I'll just do it. So they give me advice every single day, you know, even if I'm, <laughs> if I'm wearing something, they don't like it. They give me advice and I know they want the best for me. Um, so I get advice from them every single day and every single day is a pleasure, uh, pleasure. Like every, every single day that I spend with them is a pleasure and uh, yeah I can't specifically point out one, one single advice well I want to know what that silly thing is that made you oh you don't want to know I don't want to say it because I'm going to get cancelled oh, okay. so I'm always this close to getting cancelled literally I'm walking on the line all I need is a little breeze and I'll be cancelled so I have to be, <laughs> <laughs> I have to be careful so since you were in, uh, you were able to get in and out of there pretty quickly. When do you want to get back in there? Um, so I mean, you know, I had to miss out on that Charlie Ward fight, and uh, that was very annoying. And I feel like that's a fight that that I kind of need to need to have, you know, and that would put me in that that level of competition as well um, for the for the title. So maybe Dublin, if not Dublin, uh, fight after. I want to fight at the end of the year. I want to get three fights out this year. Make some money, uh, knock some people out. Happy days. What a comeback, huh? The, uh, Thank you. The guys at MMA Junkie put a little pressure on you this week with a, with yeah. a pretty lengthy feature. Can you talk a little bit about, about that, I guess? And do you feel pressure when, when something like that goes down for you and, and it feels like other people are trying to push you to the next level? Yeah, I mean, firstly, big shout out to Abby. Like, he, he smashed that... Smashed that um, that video and I, and I really appreciate his support. Do you know, like they say, pressure pressure make diamonds, and and I thrive on the pressure. You know, that's that's what I like to be. I love I love I love the lights. I love everything. Um, so it wasn't really. You know, I feel like now people are understanding um, the level I'm on. You know, everyone. It's, it's crazy to think that people are calling me. Someone said I'm like the best hidden like the most like the best hidden secret talent in MMA and another guy said our biggest prospect in MMA and I feel like now people are are seeing that and it took me a lot of work I've been I've been fighting since I was like a year and a half I started with karate and and I've been fighting since I was a kid and now now it's kind of paying off and I had a two and a half year um two and a half year of injuries and all that and now I'm finally here and, and performing and and proving these people right who are supporting me uh, it's an absolute pressure. Pleasure. Well, you you said pressured there, but uh, and maybe it was by accident. But have you felt that pressure because of the the family name and because your dad and everything? Basically, your your entire career of competing. It's, nah, not not the family name. Obviously, um, it's it's a lot. But I'm doing everything for myself. You know, um, all that is just is just an extra. Do you get what I mean? But everything that I do, I do it for myself. I do it for my team and I do it for my family and friends. That's it. But mainly myself. So I don't really feel pressure like that. The only pressure I feel is what I put on myself. And I put on crazy pressure on myself every single day. Just so when, it, when it's time to perform, I'll be there performing. 
And well. then, uh, last one for me, uh, if you continue on this trajectory, putting people away like you did tonight, um, continue sort of the, the rise toward stardom, I guess, yeah. how much will you rely on somebody like MVP to, to, to kind of guide you through that and say, all right, man, this is what I sort of went through when I was in my first 10 fights and, and kind of growing and growing and growing? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, firstly, big shout out to Paige. Uh, actually, he messaged me just before the, before the fight. He said, I love you, bro, and, and show the world what you are. And that's why he said to me just before the fight. Um, but we got loads of celebrities, and obviously at the gym, we got guys like, um, like JJ as well, who's, well, KSI, he's one of the most famous people on earth. And even he was like, show the world what you, what you made of. And, and the fact that these guys are there, if, and, and to be fair, again, I just go back to my coaches. My coaches will keep me grounded because I say silly stuff all the time and they put it on me. So, uh, but yeah, everyone's, if I say something stupid, my teammates will be there and, and guide me. So, yeah. First, I got to ask, those <laughs> dance moves. Is that, is that what you said you had in store for? No, nah, I did. I, not really. I just, I, yeah, I, just flow with, I just flow with it. Do you get what I mean? I'm, I'm, always, I'm always dancing. Now, obviously, you know, you were asked earlier about tonight's delay. You mentioned your two and a half year layoff. Yeah. You're going in and getting these fights done. Are you making up for lost time? Yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, two knockouts in a row. It's, uh, you know, and, and, and obviously the, the other guy I fought, he was like 35 fights deep, like with a decent record. And this guy, he's, again, 92 record and six for five or how tall, however tall he was. And these are tough guys, and I'm just knocking them out in the first round. And then, you know, showcasing my, my dance moves is uh, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So if you can, very quick, just kind of pull back the curtain, right? So... Obviously, two and a half year layoff. You're getting these quick finishes. What are you actually able to tell yourself when you know the storm settles? You're now got two wins under your belt. You know right away. I would think at some point you would like a challenge, but you know it's kind of to put yeah. yourself, test yourself. Uh, you talk about that and just how you're getting these yeah, quick finishes. These, these guys are tests. These guys are no joke. Like I, I, I don't know, like these guys are legit guys, and these guys are. When I get ready for them, you know, I have to go through hell. So these guys are definitely legit guys. You can't, I, I, you, no one can take that away from them. Um, but as I said, I love to fight Charlie Ward. I think that's a fight that that has to happen. As I said, I was supposed to fight him when I done my knee, and I think just for myself as well I need to and you know I've got so much respect for that guy actually I, I like him it's quite funny and he used to train at London Shoot back in the days so I feel like that fight would put he's, he's, he's legit and that fight would put me in, uh, in that top end I feel talk about that celebration dance you didn't just stop where was the inspiration for that Magic Norby what was the inspiration for that um yeah, um, the music that I like, that's, that was the inspiration for that. Uh, yeah. Can we get an encore? Well, I like, it's like M piano F from beats and you know, how you dance to that, basically. <laughs> you wouldn't think that from Hungarian, huh? Nah, nah, me neither. <laughs> and who would you say is your favorite fighters to watch because you got a unique style? Favorite fighter to watch? Well, I do like to watch myself a lot, but... <laughs> Listen, there are so many fighters. Obviously, my, my, my teammates, uh, definitely Paige as well. Obviously, if we want to go down that route, I really like Robert Whittaker. Uh, he's got a nice bounce as well, and he can wrestle, so I like him. I, but I mainly watch lighter guys if I have to watch, because the lighter the guys are, the more technical they are. I mean, I think Demetrius Johnson is the GOAT. I don't know why no one ever talks about him. Um, so I would say him, TJ Dillashaw, like all these guys. Everyone who's technical. I don't like to watch big boys. They're a bit too... too ooh. Do you get what I mean? Totally. Yeah. Well, best of luck to you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, um, that straight right or that overhand right looked like it landed a couple times in, in the first 30 seconds. Was that a read you came into the fight with or was that something that you just picked up on right away? Yeah, no, I just saw that he was open there. I was like, all right. Hit him once. I was like, oh, shit. Like that landed, and then the second time I was like, oh, again. I like nine nine, boom, falls over, done. To be fair, he stayed in, and I like had to land a couple shots, and then I was like, oh shit, he's out. And I was like, ah, yeah, that's it. That's now two fights in a row with that overhand right being the ending strike. Um, yeah, is that becoming a signature move? Yeah, I, I carry a lot of power. You know, I'm I'm very lucky. I've got that. <laughs> I've got a lot of power in my hands, and. Uh, People need to be afraid of that. And, and I'm, I'm, again, like, I'm so hard to get ready for because I can wrestle, 
I can jets and I've got crazy power in my hands. So uh, whoever wants to fight me, they probably gonna sh their pants because I'm a bit of a nightmare to get to get ready for. Thank you very much. Thank you.